Hey there everyone, what's up? Thank you so much for coming into my channel and watching my videos. This is Man Shinde and I'm here to explain you all how to use Lightroom and that in three easy steps. Yes, you've heard it right. So today we're going to learn how to edit a picture in three easy steps. I do not want to make it very complicated. I wanted to keep it as a very simple and easy editing video. So here it is and let's get started without wasting any time. So in front of me right now, there's a beautiful model. I've shot this picture on Sony a7 III with a Canon 50mm lens. If you see this image, this image is properly exposed. As you can see, uh, the histogram shows all the levels up in quite complete detailing. So it's not like there are too many shadows in this image or there's burning out highlights. Though we can see a little highlights over here, but they are still under control. Let me tell you all that this is a JPG image. Uh, and uh, I have used the Photoshop version of it, so it's running on TIF, but uh, this is a complete JPEG image. So, how do we edit this? Now, if you take a look at this image, uh, it has been shot in Mumbai, and uh, in a location like a garden. So there is ample of green color over here, 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 a bit of yellow up over there and in between, and uh, a lot of shades of orange uh, and yellow mix. And there are a lot of highlights over here if you can pay attention to these parts. Also, her skin does have a slight highlight, but that's acceptable as uh, it's a normal model image. So let's get started. I want to make this image, uh, first thing first, I want to correct this image. And I will use my first panel over here, which is the uh, tone exposure. I'm going to bring it down to about uh, minus 15. Uh, so this is 0 0.15 always remember you're not gonna go way down and uh, you should always have this in control so I'm using a very uh, old mouse and a, and a sick microphone so just bear with me I'm doing my level best to record this video and uh, with the contrast now we have ample of contrast in this image if you all can see a lot of good shadows uh, sharpness everything's beautiful but I'm gonna reduce that for about uh, minus five yes and if you see the image it's already started to look a little better the way the Sony camera gave it out now uh, highlights we've got ample of highlights over here but I am going to reduce them to like about minus three and not more than that because I like those highlights you know a little bit of them now if you see white, uh, the white of the top edge are pretty much in control but uh, let's see what happens if we reduce it. There's not much of a difference but let's keep it at minus uh, 10. 10 sounds better. Black of the image, I really, if I take to take a look at the hair, the detailings over here are quite there. So let's see how much the blacks will open up if I go it to plus 5. I mean, there's not going to be an ample of difference, but a little bit, it will give you uh, details which were hiding here in the eyes, it will still open up. Clarity, uh, since it was shot at 2.5, there was quite a depth to the image overall, so I'm going to leave the clarity where it is. Now coming uh, down to the saturation, if you can see the colors are really bright and uh, the green is like hitting my eye right now. A lot of times, lo many photographers do not realize that uh, the background colors do get a little bit stronger than your subject. So remember to keep those colors in control. So I'm going to reduce my saturation down to about uh, minus 10. I think 10 is going to be a lot, but I might increase it a little bit. So I'm not going to go down to these panels yet because uh, they are the advanced panels and I want to keep this in a very simple and easy way. So this was our first step of adjusting the tone panel. 
and uh, so far the image started looking a little better than what it was according to me now to make it look even better what I'm gonna do the second step is I'm gonna go down to effects now this says post cropping vignetting now I'm gonna give this picture a little bit of vignetting there uh, about minus 20 you don't really have to stick to these numbers yeah you have to remember that your vignetting levels are supposed to be only this much yeah not more than this you cannot come too close to your subject so you have to keep them in control and at the borders only now if I use the feather option to increase it you can see where it is heading to the dark portion of the vignetting is ending here and the feather portion comes up to here so I'm gonna keep it for about minus uh, 55 to give it a nice uh, film like look so this was my second step and the third one what I'm gonna do is grains I love grains in my pictures so I'm gonna add the grains up to about only 5 bringing the size down to 20 and the roughness leaving it at 50 that's it and you can already see the image started to turn a little better than what it was so these were the f three easy steps which I could make the image look a really lot better so and leaving these highlighted portions over here naturally and without disturbing them you know they, they are fine for me for an for a common eyes I think they look okay you don't really have to struggle and don't really have to edit them let's accept it okay even if I wanted to bring the highlights down I could go from minus 3 I could go down completely but then it wouldn't be of any sense yeah since I wanted to show that the sunlight was quite stronger on that side so maybe I want to leave them there that's it and you can see my image has already turned to look amazing now if I want I can crop this image down to however I want and give it an Instagram ratio later on or keep it at 4 by 6 if not and if I want to crop it at 1 by 1 I can also do that to give it an Instagram size going against the rule of thirds and I can you know however I would like to crop this image out I can do it but I'm gonna keep it at a shot original and here it is I hope you guys love this uh, very quick and easy kind of an edit uh, if you all really loved and if you all want me to make many of these videos please do give me a thumbs up and like my video also subscribe to my channel and do leave your lovely comments thank you so much for stopping by with my videos and I will be back soon with the next video thank you very much